What's going on? What's going on? Entertain the geeky. Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Entertain the Geeky. Today, okay, well, first I'll give you a rundown before I get into today. How about that? So, recently we have uh, had a bit of a lapse in content with the holidays being here. We had decided that we were going to take some time, spend it with our family, do that whole song and dance, and now we are ready to get back into the folds and start putting some fun stuff out there for you to listen to. And basically since, shit, October, I have been playing a ton of Overwatch 2, more than I would like to admit. And it's been uh, one of those things where I have neglected some other stuff for it. Oopsie. But I figured today we'd talk a little bit about Overwatch 2, Overwatch, and how, how all of this has shaken out. So if you are not familiar with Overwatch, basically in May of 2016, Blizzard Entertainment, the people that did World of Warcraft, Diablo, Warcraft, a bunch, a bunch of stuff, huge titles that people really love, um, premiered a new game. And it was a uh, team PvP game that put teams of six versus six against one another, typically in a uh, King of the Hill style or capture the flag like game. Um, they would have you escort a payload from one point to another on a map, and another team would try to stop you from doing so. It ended up being a ton of fun. And there were three roles in the game you had a tank role a damage roll, and a support roll, a healer. The thing that made the game so interesting is that, one, you had to be extremely cooperative with the group that you were playing with, unless you were one of those damage people. Um, out of the gate, there you didn't have to select a role to play the game, so you could go into a, a match and play anything, and that was cool, so you could have a team full of all healers, or all tanks, or all damage and it could create problems at times, and it could make things very swingy also, because if you had a, a team full of, you know, three tanks, two healers, you could survive damn near anything and just kind of shit on your competition. And it was a little problematic, so what Blizzard did was turn it into a, hey, you have to have two of each role while playing this game. That, um... That evened things out enough to where it was very, very, very enjoyable. And for years, we've had little hot fixes on characters, little things that we've complained about. Uh, basically, anytime they premiere a new character, they're typically a little overpowered. If not um, slightly underpowered, they don't really get the balance right right out of the gate. And I get it. You have to have some uh, some trial and error with that. you got to throw it out into the world to see how it makes its way through the world, if you will. So, Overwatch fantastic and uh, a couple of years ago they announced hey overwatch 2 is coming I, I don't know why we needed an overwatch 2 they could have updated overwatch 1 especially when we found out what we got but you know whatever they're like hey we're gonna do uh, pve gameplay now so you won't just have to do the regular player versus player thing that you've been doing you can do a cooperative mode and there will be gameplay for that there will also be uh, be the regular PvP that you're used to. However, it will be a 5v5 format. Okay, cool. This seems super legit thus far. Really excited about it. They're like, by the way, it comes out in February of 2021. Damn! So, we start playing an Overwatch party at my house. At my house. We're like, hey, we're going to have an Overwatch party. Like, day launch, we're going to get a bunch of copies, play the shit out of this game. It is going to be so much fun. Uh, they they push it off. All right, we're not having an Overwatch party. I think a, a lot of people were bummed, but, you know, okay, I'd rather you put out a, a good, complete game than no game at all. Life goes on. Uh, like a year goes by, and there's like all these, you know, things happening internally in Blizzard. Uh, apparently they had some issues with people that work there and shit like that. I don't know. Um, it, I think it's stuff that, Everybody's pretty well aware of at this point, but you got me. So they're having internal issues. They decide to push it off a little bit, push it back. So they do. No big deal. Uh, they push it back almost two years. 
is basically what happens. Just, I think it was August or September of uh, 2022, you could sign up for beta, and they did like a month or two of beta before uh, before launching. And they were like, hey, we're going to launch on October 4th. So as soon as you log into your Battle.net account, you'll be given the opportunity to sign up for beta. We signed up for beta. I played the game, and I was like, all right, this is the exact same thing as Overwatch 1. Nothing really changes. That's that. It's a little disappointing, but whatever. No big deal. So we we play a little bit of the beta at my house, and we're like, oh, fuck it. And then they take beta down, and they're like, all right, well, it's closed until uh, launch now. Neat. Uh, come launch. You, you won't pay for a game. It's free. You get the game for free. You can do in-game purchases, so you can purchase things, skins and whatnot, in the game, and there's a battle pass that will allow you to, uh, you'll get characters right away, you won't have to grind through a battle pass the same way or anything like that. I'm not a fan, it's not for me. I would much rather play the game and unlock the characters than have to do this whole battle pass song and dance, I think that's kind of frustrating. Um, I don't, I would, I just wanted to pay for the game, to be completely honest. I was going to buy probably three to five copies, and, uh, run with it and enjoy the game the way that I had in the past. So this battle pass thing was a little bit of a turn off and they're like, oh, you get more skins and stuff. I have a bunch of skins. I've been playing it for six years. I have a shit ton of skins. I actually have another account with skins that I don't even think I could get anymore if I wanted to. So I'm just like, man, whatever. Doesn't matter. This is what it is. It's cool. Uh, game launches. You can't log into the servers. It, most people can't. Myself included. So I had two different computers up trying to get it open. They sit for like 45 minutes and it's eventually it's just like, all right, fuck this. Looks like we're not playing right away because too many people are trying to play or something along those lines. So we give up on it. So we give up on it at my house. We're like, oh, we'll give it a couple of days to so they can get their shit sorted. We give it a few days and like when we get into the game, little little buggy things happen. Certain characters are grayed out that maybe shouldn't be, that sort of thing. And one of the things that they had said was, hey, if you had Overwatch 1, you get to keep all your skins and you get to keep all of your characters. You won't have to unlock them again or pay for them or any stuff like that. So we're like, all right, cool. We have a, sh we have a lot of skins on all the accounts that we have here in my house. And we have all of the characters, obviously, because you just got characters before as they were released because you paid money for a game. Well, a bunch of our characters are grayed out when we start, and we're like, ah, oh, whatever. They're having issues. They, they're they like, hey, sorry about that. We're, we're going to fix it. They, they do some fix thing. You get your characters back, whatever. Not that big of a deal. Playing the game, playing the game, playing the game. There's a new character, Soldier, and a little overpowered. Typically, this sort of thing happens, as we discussed earlier. Not that big of a deal. We'll keep playing the game, and then, like, I, I think a week or two into it, there was another, like, major issue where um, you, again, couldn't choose characters that you had. And it was just like, dude, really? This isn't beta anymore. Like, this is the game. How how are we how are we dorking this? But they were dorking it. okay whatever. They get it fixed, I, I guess. And then two weeks into the game, they're like, hey, um, you can start doing competitive. You'll have to do placement matches. It's a little different now. You don't have an MMR that you're going to see go up and down as you win and lose, but you will have a, uh, if you win seven games or lose 20 games, I think is the number, um, you'll go up or down in rank. So they introduced this. And they're like, you know, brand new MMR. No, it wasn't. It was a soft reset on existing MMR, which was kind of frustrating, but whatever. Uh, they had a massive issue with this, and players that were not good or experienced were being put in lobbies with characters that were insane. You're talking, so bronze is the lowest rank, grandmaster is the highest. You had people that were bronze players getting put in... Uh, in placement in <laughs> Grandmaster and or Platinum or some shit like that, somewhere where they had no business, and vice versa. You would have these Platinum and Grandmaster players getting stuck in Bronze where they had no business being. And it, it was like a shit show on both ends because you can have one guy that can totally 
carry a team or one guy that can totally put a team in a bad spot and is just getting shit on by everybody. Um, this went on for a little bit, and they said they fixed it. They said they fixed it. And the average player used to be, I think, gold is what I was told in Overwatch 1, and now the average player is bronze. So very interesting there. You're not you're not good at the game anymore. Um, everybody's bronze. I kid. There's a bunch of really good guys out there that are really good players. Um, so I do. Th- I I personally did the the whole bronze grind, and it's fucking abysmal, abysmal. I'm not a top tier player. I'm not a grandmaster or a platinum player, so I can't carry. Uh, I'm I'm not skilled enough to carry a team from bronze to to gold or anything like that. N- not in my wheelhouse. Uh, I can carry a team here or there and part of it is how much focus I have at a given point in time because I'll I'll sit down to play the game and I'll be excited to play and I'll be really honed in and as time goes I I completely lose interest and I just start kind of fucking off. So that that's my bad. But uh I managed to get up to silver after I not during the first season of Overwatch 2 but the second season did this whole thing where I I played like 200 games in season one trying to fucking break it. I got real close, and then in these bronze lobbies, you get people that are throwing deliberately and shit like that so that they can do the climb again. It's super frustrating. Or people that are just flat out really, really bad. And they don't have a way of keeping those players out of the game or out of your matches or whatever. I I don't think there's enough. Uh, I think as you get lower in rank, they have less um, margin for for like calculating how good or bad a player is. And I I don't fully understand this calculation anyway. It doesn't make sense to me. But we uh, go through that. It sucks. I in the season in a bad spot, and I'm like, all right, whatever. A bunch of people were upset about it. I actually was so upset about it, I ended up writing something to Blizzard, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you guys doing here? I'm like, I, I understand that you, uh, that you, you can't predict everything, but you guys have been in development for this for an extra two years, so there's no reason that we should be having these issues, and the old ranking system worked just fine. You could have reset everybody, and made them do placements, and here we are, and everybody would be happy, and we'd be hunky-dory, but instead you're trying to reinvent a wheel to be more like a League of Legends or something along those lines than what has um, worked for you in the past. And it, it, their their system was very similar to World of Warcraft's arena system, where you had a uh, MMR that would go up and down, and certain tiers of MMR would put you in different tiers of players. So you would it, it basically low, medium, high, and then you were a master player and shit like that after that. It, it it worked well for what it was. It would be frustrating, like, if you would get really low in it, it was f- hard to get out of it. Hard to get out of it. And I managed to get out of it in Overwatch 2. It, 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 my, me and my kids sharing an account got me solo over there. That In Overwatch 2, after their soft reset, we finally got out of it and got into silver. Um, man. I don't I don't know how your matchmaking works. I wish you would make that like super public knowledge. That'd be cool. But it's been it's been this weird thing and it's like this love hate thing between the players and Blizzard. Like people can people play Overwatch and complain about it at the same time. And it's like, dude, the game is fun. It's a lot of fun. And it can be very fun. However, there are some issues with it. And I think there's issues that we shouldn't necessarily be having, and I, I do think it's one of those things that, like, maybe, maybe when you were shuffling employees around, you put some people in the wrong places. Maybe you thought an idea was cool and you fell in love with it, and the idea actually sucked. Um, there were things that people loved about the game that are very good about the game. Oh, the game being Overwatch One, that you could have just moved over. Realistically, there was no reason for an Overwatch Two at all. I'm pretty sure it's the same code. You updated some graphics and stuff like that, and that was the end. So you could have just called the game Overwatch, let it been Overwatch, done a massive update, and done. It was a it was a cash grab. I get it. 
I get it. You could have done it better, but, you know, more power to you. Um, what games are you guys playing right now? That's something that I would like to know because I, I am becoming uh, disenchanted with the game. I've been playing a ton of competitive recently, and that's basically if I log on, that's about all I get on to do. Um, and it's I'm, I'm at a point now to where I'm, I'm just kind of disenfranchised with it. I, I think it's... Uh, it's not as good as it once was, and that's okay. I, I can't expect anything to be great for forever. Um, but it's also, it's not bad. I can have a lot of fun playing it. I don't have a lot of, uh, a lot of my friends don't necessarily play it. A few of my friends do, and we'll jump on and play together every so often. And it helps when you're around the same rank. But it's, uh, yeah, what I would I would like to broaden my horizons, if you will, and find some other fun stuff to play. It doesn't necessarily have to be PvP at this point, though I would like some stuff that is cooperative that I could play with other players. That's that's the thing that I think is uh, nice right now. It would almost be nice to have like a WoW-esque kind of game that you could just log on with a bunch of friends and be like, all right, here we go, let's go to the, you know, let's go to Goldshire and protect it from orcs or something like that. I think that would be super rad. And I think I think that's what uh, that's what I need now. That or just do the PvE version of Overwatch. Like, my friends that aren't super competitive with games or aren't super good at competitive games, I think that would be a more bearable way for them to be introduced to Overwatch. I think it could be better for all of us. So please, please, please put that out, Blizzard. I think it could be way rad. And, uh, yeah, to you, dear listeners, again, tell me what you're playing. Let me know if I can play it or where to get it or something like that because I would love to be playing some more games, some different games. I think that would be super rad. And as always, stay geeky.